Well, hi, everybody, and good Monday morning to meteorologist Travis Klineski here. A little foggy out there again, again to start things off. Not everybody seeing it, but some folks seeing some pretty thick fog uh, just developing the last couple of hours, especially here, and that includes right here at the TV station. It is pretty thick, but you can actually look up and see the clear skies above, which indicates that once that fog burns off, we are going to see a lot of sunshine, and I think it's going to burn off quicker than what it has the last couple of days. So let's check things out as we look at our future cast here, and again, fog should burn off pretty quickly. We'll be left with lots of sunshine with some clouds lingering to the uh, northwest and maybe even a couple of showers out there. And in fact, speaking of showers, we could even see a couple of spotty showers and storms in the western parts of our viewing area overnight tonight. Uh, most of us will see a dry night ahead of us, though. Those will shift into northern Nebraska tomorrow. Slight chance up there. Tri-Cities dry tomorrow will be another warm one, if not even a little hot out there for your day on Tuesday. Although, again, if we see those clouds, that could hold temps back a little bit. We'll have a slight chance as we get towards late, late Tuesday night after midnight uh, for a, l a larger portion of the area. As for your temps for today, we're going to top it out in the upper 80s, mid to upper 80s to near 90 degrees up north, mainly sunny skies. Again, a few late day clouds out there. South breeze is 10 to 20 miles per hour. To the west, a little bit warmer, upper 80s, low to mid 90s, mainly sunny, a late day cloud cover moving towards the Emacook and Imperial areas out there. And in fact, that chance of a uh, late night shower or storm to the south. Upper 80s around the Tri-Cities, lower to mid-90s down in northern Kansas, and to the east we're looking at mid to upper 80s where clouds and earth, uh, fog may last a little bit longer than everybody else. Next seven days, well, going to be a little bit on the warm side, if not even a little hot out there with upper 80s and lower 90s for many of us. Again, a couple of small chances of showers and thunderstorms late, late Tuesday night into Wednesday morning, and then again late, late Wednesday night into Thursday morning. Friday, Saturday, small chances continuing. And then on Sunday, a little bit better chances a cold front starts to make its way through the area. The big question with this one right now will be timing. That will determine how good our chance of rain is and also if we'll start to cool things back on Sunday or if we may have to wait another day. So there are some question marks still to that forecast, but you know, at least for the next five or six days, it's going to be fairly toasty. And, of course, the first day of our first game, football game in Lincoln on Saturday it's going to be quite warm out there as well. Not as warm as we've seen in the past, but still quite warm with only a small chance of rain. So there's your forecast for today. Until next time, I'm meteorologist Travis Klineski. Hope you have a great Monday.